What's up, guys? It's kimchi and tofu. Yeah. yeah. All right, guys. We are going into Parasite episode number ten. What mad universe? Where do we leave off at on this tofu? Uh, we left off with Shinichi is going and he's protecting everybody because this new parasite is out here and he's mm -hmm. trying to start some trouble. But yeah. also we have uh, Shinichi's uh, new persona too. So he's uh, too cool. He's coolest. He's losing emotion. He's losing emotions. No, he's going cool, cooler, coolest. Because I watch uh, Sakamoto-san. Dude, <laughs> mm, coolest. He's too cool. He's uh, too cool. Yeah. Shinichi's not cool as him though. Oh. Yeah, yeah, he's too cool. But before we start, we want to thank our Patreon member that just joined our Mechu squad. Right. Right. Shout out to you. Thank you. Thank you, Stanley Lovely. Lazarus. Oh, sorry. Did I say it so fast? Yes, yeah, you I'm did. Yeah, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. We're trying to say it together for you. All right, yeah. all right. All right. One, we'll, we'll say it in three, okay? okay. Oh, oh, one, two, two three. three. Stanley Lazarus. Lazarus. Yay. Yay. Thank you so much, Stanley, for joining the Mechu squad. Yes. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you. Yes. All right. Toko, are you ready? I'm ready. All right, let's go. Go. Mmm. Wow. Toko, you go. Boing. Too cool to listen to the teacher. He's too cool, yeah. He could just get up and go. Yeah. Shut the door on you. Oh, yeah, oh, she's about to die. Oh, yes. Oh, shoot, that's right. Mm. Oh. oh damn, I thought that was gonna kill, knock her head off, but she got Ultra Instinct or something. Come on, yes! Smart girl! Oh, uh -oh. oh, oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, Dude, so they're gonna can see this. Yeah, they're gonna see it. Oh my god! Oh she shoot! Really jumped. Oh my god, please grab onto something, woman. Oh, oh shoot, she fell. Oh no. No, but Shinichi's on his way though. I hope he doesn't get caught. Oh. Yeah, he can't he can't morph back to his face. Damn, you ugly. <laughs> wow, she actually got him. Yep. <gasps> oh, oh. 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 Why did he attack a fly? Wait, why did why are they not tripping when they see him? Oh! So I'm he sorry, they deserve him. it. Yeah. Come on, man. He was. They saw. They saw him like that, and they just walked towards him. Oh my gosh! This is about to be a bloodbath. Holy cow! What? <laughs> His hands are like antennas. Yeah. Oh crap, what are they looking at? Dude, the bodies, but then where is he though? Oh, they're evacuating. Yeah, because he saw the bodies. Mm. Oh no. Oh no, you're kidding me. Wow, he's just killing everybody. Murano, Murano. Don't let her die. Faster, faster! Oh my god, is it Murano? Oh my gosh. So many students. Oh. Oh, that calmed him. Oh my Damn, God. even just that puddle sound? Yeah. The blood puddle? Damn. <gasps> no. no! No, nah, nah, nah. Someone else was just the same pink. Yeah, see, it's not her. There she is. She's alive! Yeah. Ah, it's too early to kill her. <laughs> Come on. Die Joe Boo, yo. Oh my gosh. 
Whoa. Oh my gosh. So he just scared them. No! Oh my oh, god! Wow. Oh. Oh! <laughs> oh my god, he's doing this with her! Oh shoot! Yeah, but he can jump, but is anyone gonna see him though? She sees him! Oh yeah, that's. She doesn't know he has these powers! Oh my god! <laughs> so now she's gonna know. She's like, what the hell did you just do? She doesn't care, she's safe, right? It's crazy. Ah, uh, so she thinks that I don't think the police are gonna win. Nope. Yep, look at that. Ow. Yeah. Oh my god. Dude, guns are you guns are useless in this. Wow. Oh wait, hold on. Well no, they put bullets in his body. Oh my gosh, it became a it really became a bloodbath. <laughs> With a rock? He's gonna throw a rock at him? <laughs> yeah. Oh. Wow. Oh. Wow. <laughs> Dang! Home run! Oh, oh, damn. With drug addiction? Drug addiction, yep. It's gonna cause panic and stuff, that's why. Yeah. Yeah. Is that what he said? Is that what he said? Is that what he said? Right, because Shinichi kind of feels for him as a parasite, like he's killing the parasite's own kind. Huh. They're using parasites as weapons? Or like the rumors? Okay, Muscle? Muscle? ゴムのように伸びたり鉄のように硬くもなります。だが瞬間的な速さの細胞融合です。<笑><笑> I'm surprised she's able to go back to school after seeing all of that. I'm surprised the school even opened. Back up. Back up like this. Now that school is haunted for sure. Oh yeah. <laughs> she, is she not that smart? <laughs> it's impossible to jump from that high. I think she was too traumatized to even notice anything. Yeah, I think so too. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what the heck? <laughs> I'm scared. Pulling hair hurts. No, oh, you're human. You can pull this one right here in the middle. That's a huge chunk. I'm this? just gonna pull one. You're a parasite! It's wriggling! What's up? Damn, that was some crazy bloodbath that happened. Yeah, there were wow. so many students. But they said there was only, what, 17 students? Yeah, 17. only 17. I thought it it looked like a lot more than that with oh. how much blood was pulled up. Yeah, 17 people dead. That that That's enough blood in there. Yeah. Yeah. That, that, that's good. That's a good amount. That was still a 17 lot. 17 students? Yeah, that's a lot, but oh, I, I thought no, that no. he had killed more. Yeah, because 17 students plus like 10 officers. Oh, yeah. You see? Oh. Yeah, so the kill count was pretty high. Man, that guy just went berserk. Yeah, he did. Yeah, all because of that freaking girl, man. Yeah, pouring paint thinner on him. No, no not only that, but she tried to let him go. That's and say, true. just go, and she could have, she should have just, 
reported it in. Her brother freaking works with the police. None of this would have happened. Right. And well, now she has to talk to her brother after experiencing and seeing what she saw. She has to talk to him. Yeah, after everything happened. Yeah, but well, yeah, I know. Man. After. Why did Shinichi say that that guy? Does he think that he was pushed back and he had no choice but to retaliate against the humans? The the student. Student. No, he. I don't think he understood why he was going berserk, but he was. But then he was saying that this was his true intention, and how could he? Be saying no, that he it, was on the same side as Tamiya. Yeah, but that's after. After, right? Yeah, no, no, that's before. Every, uh, that's before the whole bloodbath. But after the bloodbath, I think he kind of said something like, "Like, why, why would he do this? He's trying to think why he did this. Did they push him into a corner? Oh, like did he get pushed into a corner and that's why he just went berserk and he killed everybody? Oh, you know. So he didn't know. Think of it as an animal. If right. you think of parasites as an animal, right? Right. A wild animal, not right. a tame, but wild animal, and you push him into a corner, they're gonna fight back. Oh, so since he couldn't hide back into a shell, anybody that came at him was a threat because then they would see his true identity. That's exactly. why he was just killing them left and right. Exactly. But then he went after people. He no, was because going towards classrooms and then just going just to kill them. Yeah, but be, but the thing is, he only he had to attack. Remember, he hit the fly and he was like, "Wait a minute, attack!" That's his only self defense mechanism is to is to kill everyone. Oh, that's 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 this parasite self defense mechanism. So that's why he just went into straight kill mode. Yeah, he had oh. to. He had no choice. Oh, I see. Right. Yeah. Okay. So, that makes sense. Yeah. So I'll, I I thought it was just like the paint thinner. <laughs> Affected his brain and then he just lost it. That's no. what I thought happened. And that's why I was confused. No, I think this was more of a self-defense mechanism. When you push oh. something to the end, you're going to have no choice but to kill everybody. That makes sense. Yeah. That makes sense. That's now. the way I saw it. I saw it with him because, you know, the more I keep seeing Miggy right. and other parasites, mm -hmm. it's like we, I kind of just look at him as another species of an animal. Mm. Right. Right. That can that can relate to like just other wild beasts, right? They're wild beasts that can take over uh, human bodies. It's just we don't like it because it involves us. Mm. That's why. That's why anything that involves us and you kill humans are monsters. Think right. about it. If we're cows, humans are monsters. Right. You know. Right. If if a cow gets pushed in the corner. He's, he has no choice but to kill everybody. Yeah. If you are a cow and you're in a slaughterhouse and you're you're and you're like, oh my god, they found me. It's my life. They're gonna put me in a slaughterhouse, or I gotta kill all of them. So that's just how I looked at it. That makes sense. You know. I get it. Yeah. But I mean, he is not good because he does still feast on humans. Right. But at the same time. He doesn't go on a. He he just doesn't go on a massacre spree. He kills humans one at a time to feed. Right. Yeah. And then this time he went on a massacre. Yeah. The only because reason, yeah. he felt he was in danger. He was in danger. He was threatened. Oh, okay. But how the hell does Murano not 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 realize about Shinichi's uh, Superman power, huh? I think it's just to the point she doesn't care because he saved her. Traumatized. Yeah, she's traumatized. They're probably shaking and traumatized about this whole situation that happened. So, but it was interesting to see actually Shinichi even talk about saying like, hey, you know what? He wants to find out what these guys purpose is. Like, right. why did you guys come here? What What is your purpose? Like, it, it's cool to see like they're trying to reason, not reason, but try to understand like what is going on. Right. You know? Yeah. Instead of the full 100% like vengeance, like I'm just going to kill all you guys. I don't care. I'm going to wipe out every single parasite in this world. He's kind of curious to see, like, what, why, what. Yeah. You know? He, yeah. In a sense. He, yeah. He's open-minded a little bit. Well, not. I mean, maybe it's because he, he is a parasite himself or becoming a parasite himself. Right. Uh, which is still surprising that he still leaves it open like that after what happened to his mom. But I think it's more so um, also because he's got a part of Miggy in him. Because mm -hmm. he has less emotion, so now he's thinking more logically. Logically, that's right. So, you know, that actually makes a lot of sense. Because if he was just perfectly human, then vengeance will be the only thing in his mind. Because think about it. You just got your mom killed. You, you 
killed 17 of his people and his uh, students, classroom and all that. So a human emotion mm -hmm. would be vengeance. But a parasite's emotion, which has no emotion, is just logic. So he's thinking, what is it that you guys are looking for? Right. What are you guys trying to do? He's thinking more logically. Yeah, but he almost he almost had a breakdown and had a flight moment because his yeah. heart broke. Just it was so painful. He almost ended up doing what the other three students were doing, being scared and just like hurting so much, not being able to move. But isn't that considered like emotions? Yeah, that's emotions. Yeah, so he still has some. He still has some, but he shut them down. He shut them down because like the crazy thing was he had some, but then his shutdown was like this right away. Steal, yes. right? This, are you made of steel? And then bam, right away. Losing his emotions, but then he still has some emotion. And then now yeah, being able to totally shut down his emotion. Yeah, but so that's a choice. It the, it's a choice, but is he going to? Is he going to end up losing that completely later on? So what you're saying is once a parasite goes inside a body and once it becomes a hybrid of him, that means that the parasite will take over the whole body. Like he'll become a full parasite. I, I think that, not not full parasite, but at least his emotions are going to really be pushed farther and further in the back. Yeah, I see. OK, well, I do kind of wish I see both ends. So that's why towards the end, I want to see like his judgment mm. in, in certain things. I mean, we do see him go towards more of how parasite fails. Well, I mean, he did break, though, because he's like, what the hell? Like, this is our responsibility, because that's something that Miki couldn't understand. How is it part of your responsibility? Yeah. And that's what I was thinking about right now was just Miki sitting on the bed with him and just saying this thing. That's the way you hum humans are, because then he was sitting there, like looking at it from Miki's side of view, mm -hmm. having to attack and kill his own kind. But where Miggy doesn't care, he has no feeling, he doesn't care. Either way, he just is only solely protecting himself. Yeah, because Miggy is just logic. He don't care. He's just yeah. like, okay, he's a threat, so I will eliminate him. Yeah, he That's doesn't. That's just it. Right. He doesn't yeah. care if it's his own kind yeah. or if it's any other kind. As long as it's a threat, it dies. Well, I mean, now if you take a look at it that way, then that goes back into, that kind of contradicts to what um, Shinichi is feeling. Because Shinichi, he wants to understand isn't that is that would you say that's more of a human that's more of a human trait he's still right so at that part and at that point he was still showing human emotion it's human emotion right right so that's where i got mixed up so thinking logically like that what a parasite would think is these guys are threats right we just need to eliminate them right so you're right he does still have human emotion. I'm, and I don't think he will lose it, thinking about that again. Oh, I'm sorry. Wait, one second. He, they are a threat only if they become a threat to you. If they're not doing anything, but they're a threat to somebody else, then it's none of their business. That will explain why they won't go on a rampage and just kill everybody. Because mm -hmm. if you logically even think, oh, parasites are a threat, right? Mm -hmm. They're going to kill everybody. Then you will kill all the parasites. But... Miggy, what Miggy is saying is just, it's just me. Mm -hmm. If anyone just try to attack me, then yes, I will eliminate him without hesitation. Right. But if it, if it doesn't, if it has nothing to do with me, I don't care. Because look what Miggy said. Miggy said the same thing. If I feel threatened, I have to eliminate. Right. 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 Yeah. So if all the cops were coming into the school to go after Shinichi... Migi would kill them all. Then Migi will kill them all. The same thing will happen with Migi. Right. Yeah. And that's why Migi doesn't want to go to the policeman because he knows that that puts his life in danger. That's a threat to him because they could just take him and try and kill him. Exactly. So right. that's how a parasite thinks. I get it. Yeah. Well, all right, cool. Thank you guys so much for joining us. We'll see you guys soon for episode number